Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 9 full tutorial series and this is part 2 of that series. In the previous part we learned about all about Angular introduction, we learned about the Angular framework and we also went through some of the release cycles and the versioning. We are currently in Angular 9 version and this series covers everything on Angular 9 from basics to advanced. My name is Sridhar Rao. I have over 10 years of experience as full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge and also to learn from you all. I look forward for your if you have any questions. I, I look forward to help you as much as I can. So like I said, uh, all of this tutorials will be fully hands on examples code code samples. We will build real application during as part of the series. So make sure you're following all the tutorials. You don't miss out on any. If you have any doubts during any course of any of these tutorials or on any particular topic, please drop in in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. All right. So previous episode, we learned about Angular introduction and version history. This episode, we will learn how to upgrade to Angular 9. So the first thing is if you are working on Angular 6, Angular 4 or Angular 8 applications, anything prior to Angular 9, you will have to upgrade it to upgrade. Uh, I'm sure you would if you are using Angular 8 or Angular 6 for any of those Angular 7. So you are familiar with uh, Angular CLI, I would assume. So this tutorial is for uh, folks who are joining us from Angular previous versions. So if I'm sure you are comfortable with Angular CLI in that. But for beginners, uh, from next episode onwards, we will be building our real project from scratch on Angular 9. So make sure you don't miss out on that. For folks who are joining us from previous versions of Angular, uh, you need to run two commands that would upgrade to Angular 9. So the ideal thing is instead of doing it to one shot to Angular 9, first make it always to Angular 8. That's the stable version that we have used by running the command ng update at the rate angular slash cli at the rate a with 8 which means you are taking the angular cli 8 version also at the rate angular core you need to upgrade that as well after that or if you are already running on angular 7 or 8 you need to run ng update at the rate angular cli at the rate angular slash core when you run this command you would have the latest CLI. You can go to package.json and you can see all of the uh, library files, modules to upgrade it to 9 version. We will see that in detail uh, in the next tutorials that are to follow. But for folks who are joining us from previous um, releases, make sure that you have um, checked it out. All right. So that being said, I think uh, that's I just wanted to convey uh, that in this particular episode, it's nothing great except for the fact that if you want to check your local uh, ng version, just type ng hyphen version. So here you should be able to get the Angular version that you're running. So you see, it's all running on 9 since I already upgraded it. So I cannot run that command now because I already upgraded, but I will do a, uh, I can just show you a package.json. So if you see all of the files, all of the libraries dependencies are on nine. So these are all are upgraded to nine. We will learn how to do that end to end in the next tutorial where we will start from scratch the project. But that's how you upgrade. So just run the command ng update at the rate angular CLI at the rate angular slash core. And you should see that the latest angular version is up to date in your system. Try it out. Do let me know if you have any queries, any doubts. I will again be happy to help you. In the next episode onwards, we actually start our hands on coding with how to install Angular uh, using Angular CLI. We will also learn how to install Bootstrap, understand package.json, file structure, much, much more. So please uh, support me, encourage me by subscribing to my channel, by liking this video. I look forward to you see you in the third part, which is how to actually get started with Angular, how to install Angular, how to run first Angular application. See you in the next episode.